or in the White House, he was voting against some of the things that he actually advocated in, in the inconvenient truth story afterwards, because he had to. He was part, it was part of policy, and his party voted against things that was, I mean, crazy. And he, afterwards, when he was free of politics, he could then say it out openly that this was a wrong decision. We shouldn't have done that. So politicians, they have, they have their hand, hands tied. Is there any polit politicians here today? <laughs> oh, yeah. And this is another thing. You, want, you need more local heroes also. Do you, do you know you're, you're, you're now facing a hero? I was announced to be hero of the environment by Time magazine last year. The real, the real good thing about that is that Arnold Schwarzenegger was also announced. And on the front page of the New York Times, no, on, on Time magazine, there was a tree and with a lot of fruits on it. And my hero fruit was a big green one, and Arnold Schwarzenegger's was a little black one. <laughs> <laughs> so for the future, we're talking about electric cars. And to be honest, guys, is this a car that you really have wet dreams in the night for? <laughs> Not really. This is a car for, for I mean... This is an experimental vehicle that proves that you can drive on electricity, but it's not a real car. But there's, there's, there's a solution for that. I know that the Tesla, you know the Tesla engine? They produced a car that can go from 1 to, to 100 in 3.7 seconds, faster than any, any Ferrari or anything like that. But it, and it does not does it without sound. You come whistling by. And that's not interesting. I mean, a real, a real young guy. Don't talk when I'm speaking. <laughs> You'll, you'll have some burning rubber and some noise when you're driving down the main street, right? But that's solved by, you can have a CD player and you can buy any records have putting in Ferrari or Porsche or any other sound and just rev up when somebody sees you. <laughs> That'll solve the problem. Because what we're talking about is maybe not fighting or sharing, it's, it's more about making senses. This is what we're taught all the time, that oil is about a peace and war, but I think it's about making sound decisions. We have a meeting in Copenhagen. So, so hopefully, you will, you will then now start a discussion about all these sort of things. What is the real, what is the real content of the, of the climate top meeting in Copenhagen? What will be the, 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 the pointed out uh, discussion that we need to have there? Because I, don't, I cannot see that, really. Everybody kind of have this overall agreement on that the climate is, is, is on the agenda. But is it for real? This is up to you now. You have your, it's in your hands now. I, I rely on you, more or less. Because we are quite a lot of guys that's ready to plug in and do things. But we need you to, to, to focus on it and make the politicians make the decisions. Okay? So can we agree that, that you will do that job and we will then plug in and do the right things? Okay? Thank you. <laughs>